Hello and welcome to another Masters of Disney Adventures video, another news and chat video for that. So yeah, stay with us for all the latest Disney news and all the goings on in the parks and whatnot. So let's get to it. First of all, our favourite subject. <laughs> we have to do a special. Yeah. <laughs> what did Genie Plus do this week? Yes. <laughs> Uh, so, for those of you who are staying on resort, you'll be alright for this one. Those that are not, you might not like this so much if, if you're planning on doing Genie Plus, it is. So, basically, for the, uh, for the Rise of the Resistance, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Disney has basically been saving all the Lightning Lane slots for resort staying guests. Uh, yeah. Well. That's a matter of priority sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, the only daytime slots are basically for non-resort guests have been appearing in the evening. So I don't exactly fully know how the whole thing works, but I suppose, yeah, I suppose you your get... app knows if you've got a park ticket or whether you've got a, whether you're a resort. Yeah, yeah, whether you're something. staying a resort. So they've obviously anyone who's staying in a resort has been getting away with being able to book any old mm. any old lightning lane. I'm surprised people have been using it. So I mean because <laughs> they did say that obviously the slots won't sell out. Yeah. But I presume they'd have to be they at a certain can. point. Probably is the case of if you're not staying on resort, these are all the slots you've got. Yeah, yeah. Not offering them in, Which in the first fine, place. Which is fine, but you're kind of penalising the people that don't, who can't afford mm. to stay on resort. Or you're also penalising the residents. Mm. I mean, they've always done that though, haven't they? I mean, they've always given priority to like fast passes and whatnot. So, yeah. it's nothing new really, but it's just a little bit annoying if you're trying to get on that ride and you yeah. know, just have to stay to the evening then, won't we? Oh, it works fine with us because we never wake up until midday anyway. So. <laughs> Roll out of bed straight into a reservation. Six o'clock's nothing. <laughs> We're just getting started at six. <laughs> exactly. So, so yes. Um, I mean, that's that's the first. So obviously, it's all new, isn't it? This week. It so. started this week, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, we get to see how it progresses. It might get better. It might be new uh, problems are cropping up. We'll have to see. I've noticed um, a few people on Instagram, I think, um, is it Walt Disney World News Today? Oh yeah. If you follow them, they've sent somebody recently to basically try out on their behalf the Lightning Lane stuff and, and also Genie Plus. And it basically, I think it looks like, like we've said, Genie Plus um, can sort of guide you through mm. the day, getting the best use out oh, yeah. of the... Yeah. Um, times for rides and the optimum time, le like the least amount of wait time and things like that. Mm. So I think on on their channel, on their Instagram page, you can follow a link to their YouTube mm. channel. Um, and on there, I'd imagine it will be so this yeah, guy basically mm. is trying out everything they've said that the Genie Plus will do. So it'd be quite interesting watch, to watch that mm. and see, um, you know, especially for us that are going over later. Like you can see all the problems that they probably are facing this week with it, mm. and then hopefully by the time the majority of us go next year, or this year, ready for it, they, they, it'll be ironed out, and yeah. you know, hopefully they'll any problems that they're facing, any problems that they've come up with, they'll be able to iron out before the rest of us go. And hopefully have a few tips on how to get the most out of it. Yeah, exactly. And of course, we'll pass anything that we hear onto you on this channel on this series. I mean, I, I, th I think for us, like I always said, you know, we, we just want to do things a bit more freestyle this year, yeah, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So I think that Genie, the Genie app, is going to be really will helpful. Will be good for us. Because I think it will show, yeah. if we, you know, you tell it, I mean, we've just reserved our park days today, haven't we? Which yeah, is fun. It's been a good Using day. our Adam Hatter's <laughs> Dream Planner to, to write down the days. But yeah, we've been sat doing all of that. And I think it'd be good for the genie plus for us because we kind of or list or the genie yeah. um it'd be good for us because we'll be able to sign take it with us um we've kind of listed the rides we definitely want to do mm. on the in the fast pass areas in the book because obviously fast passes don't exist anymore um we've written down there like the three top rides that we want to use and go on so we can i'm hoping that we can put them in the genie mm. um, and it will guide us to the best times to go and kind of guide us on which way around to do them and things like that to help optimize our visit yeah exactly so we'll be able to say everything that we want to do that day and yeah. that'll basically talk us through the best way of doing it so and it begins well because we've obviously we've put, booked the days what we're doing so we're going to like for instance magical kingdom four times but we've kind of said that we're probably gonna um stay in one area mm. on those on each time we go 
like only visit one area of the park or maybe venture into a couple um, to try and maximise the days because we found last time that we went we didn't really use the park to its full advantage because we were just chasing after the fast passes the whole time mm. we were there so it would be this genie well you know it'd be nice to use genie to kind of say right we're going to stay in Tomorrowland for most of the day what can we do when and that app will tell us mm. the best way around to do them so exactly so for us genie plus uh, genie hmm. moving on <laughs> so typhoon lagoon it's possibly opening by the end of the year uh, just as blizzard beach is set to close um after Christmas Day, isn't it? Yeah, so, so they're doing their normal annual refurb. closures, refurbs yeah. to make oh, the zhuzh yeah. them up a bit. Yeah. But yeah, they're hoping that they'll get Typhoon Lagoon open as Blizzard Beach shut. Blizzard Beach shuts for their refurb. Mm. But yeah. So at least we'll hopefully have one or the other at yeah. one given time. But they're basically possibly looking into reopening Blizzard Beach all being well by the spring and Typhoon Lagoon will also be open because Typhoon Lagoon has been shut I think I read somewhere since March hmm. 2020 yes yeah, yeah they've had a massive when it all yeah in the pandemic. and they didn't reopen it did they to no. do their refurbishments yeah. um so apparently you know they're saying that basically it'd be nice if they can reopen Blizzard Beach by spring and then it'll be the first time that both of them have been open at the same time for two years two so whole years hopefully at least one water park will be open so, which is cool which should be good for us all you know those going from november onwards there'll be at least one for you yes yeah, yeah. obviously check check the updates to make sure which one it is you don't want to end up at the closed one no that's true <laughs> <laughs> so yes so i mean water parks for us is a good sort of we, day of rest between the park days isn't it a good way to literally chill in the yeah nice water well, we're teaming it as a half day with another park can't we mm. but we need to double check that we can do that because we don't know whether we... if you know let us know down down below do you know if we have to book to go to typhoon Lagoon? well i haven't seen the options too so i wouldn't imagine but I let us know if wouldn't. you know anything different then mm. yeah let us know so yes water parks good news open <laughs> if we get both open that's even good because yeah. uh, we like to alternate them don't we each time yeah. we go so so yeah <laughs> And then moving on, Orlando International Airport are offering a reservation lane, not light, lightning lane, I hope, <laughs> uh, yeah, for security. Yeah, with lightning. <laughs> so basically the program is uh, free. Oh, there you go, then it's not like lightning lane. Uh, so you can reserve, um, was that through clearme.com? Clear yeah, so yeah, you basically, there's a website that you can go on. So if you like the idea of being able to reserve a time slot to go through security, because basically trying to make it, a nice easy process mm. is what they're saying so yeah obviously we've all been well most of us have been to Orlando and we know their security times can be five minutes one time you go and then two hours the next time you especially go especially when you've got like a load of like say the British flights all covered yeah, all at one point don't they yeah so they're, at the one point, yeah. they're basically trying to take some of the stress off of going through the airport so you can reserve a time I take it there's a yeah there's a reservation line so if mm. you've reserved a time slot to go through security um, then yeah you can go join that queue instead show you show your uh, reservation I'd imagine and then sail through security yeah. I mean that's fast that'd be good for like all of us Brits because obviously we have our car high return time and we're pretty much structured aren't we mm. what we have to do by a certain time so I think you'd be able to that would work if you booked a certain slot to yeah. go through security I think that's a good idea so well done Orlando MCO for that yeah so I mean Stephen will probably put it up on the screen but it's um, you can go to the website it's called reserve.clearme.com and then yeah you can pop on there and reserve reserve this reservation lines for security <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much like uh, what Gatwick offer obviously they don't do a visit, oh, they're visit family. Time, but they have a family lane or a premium Gatwick think, don't they where yeah. you can go through so oh, yeah it's that's something I'm going to miss part of that, going yeah. from Heathrow mm, I'm going to miss Gatwick we'll have to see if they do something for families we'll have to put Alithia in the buggy just so we can get through it <laughs> but I thought he was going to say for the uh, conveyor no. belt you actually. will sit in the buggy I know you're five and you can walk but you will sit in the buggy <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And finally, um, Festival of the Arts is Yay. returning to Epcot this winter. That's uh, January the 14th to February the 21st. So it's the usual good early year festival that uh, they normally have at Epcot. Yeah. We've seen some pretty good uh, videos from that of uh, good things you can buy, like even oh, if it's artwork. just the prints that are cheaper, yeah. you know, the, the artwork you can get. Obviously, m most of it, if not all, Disney themed, isn't it? So. Mm -hmm. If you're kitting your house up with uh, Disney artwork, then that's a great festival to be at. Seems some good gems. Two nice in bits, that one, yeah. We? So, yeah. Uh, we've never been to it ourselves, but. No. It's just after my birthday, so we should go, won't you? Yeah. It's always the <laughs> coldest time to go I to Orlando, that's the only thing. Yeah, but it's still weather. not England yeah. cold, is it? It has. Well, I've seen it has dipped. I'd rather be in Florida, though, in that cold weather than here. But I think it's only like. A sort of random day at a time sort of thing. It's never yeah. been That's prolonged like it is here, but yeah, I suppose yeah, still beats England that time of year. So. <laughs> we yeah. beat England any time of year, but don't we? But they they <laughs> promised to have all the food and um, what's it called the little kiosks, food kiosks. That's what they're looking mm. for. That they normally have all the art areas. I've read somewhere that they're doing a. Um, there's something on the boardwalk they do like a show concert type thing okay down at the boardwalk as well yeah so they normally really... have that speaking of the concerts that little concert yeah. area as well don't they i like it for when we the when we go the um the flower, flower garden, garden. Yeah. i'm definitely looking forward to flower and garden we'll have to see which uh <laughs> oh once we find out we'll, we'll tell you guys um probably be next year but it'd be nice to put up mm. who's going to be doing what when yeah well flower and garden it's pretty much the festival after the um the art, arts, festival yeah. arts, so it'd be starting more or less after, after that after. Mm. so a pop up when we know who's going to be playing because they have some good artists there yeah. don't they who is it we are oh, we just miss hansen when we were there last time yeah <laughs> uh flock of seagulls is it flock that's of seagulls? who was there when we were there yeah, wasn't it yeah. which is a few songs i remember from the 80s <laughs> i show my age now but i was a little tall there but <laughs> i was <laughs> So yes, let us know. What do you think to that? Uh, what do you think to the um, Disney Lightning Lane saga with the uh, Rise of the Resistance? We're literally going to have to do a feature piece every week. I think what so. What did Genie Plus do wrong this week? <laughs> I'll work on the graphics for yeah. that next week. <laughs> uh, Typhoon Lagoon, are you excited to uh, hear about the news of that? Do you do water parks? Is that something you like to do whenever you go? Do you plan to next time? Yes. And what do you think to the Orlando... Speedy reserve lane. Security will you be, lane. Will you be uh, doing that or do you mind the uh, queues? Do you get hit by queues regularly when you go through MCO? Let us know. <laughs> and Festival of the Arts. Have you ever done Festival of the Arts or is it something you hope to do one day? Let us know. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week with more news. Bye. Bye.